I grab the scissors again and snip the corner of the baggie carefully. I tip the contents out onto the towel. Diamonds tumble out before me, beautifully cut and sparkling back at me in the sunlight. So many. I can't judge the number. A hundred, two hundred. They twinkle innocently in the sunlight, mainly princess and marquise cut by the look of it. But I see some heart and pear cut in there too. I know my cuts, colors and sizes of diamond. We looked at every possible permutation before Mark and I settled on the one in my ring. I look at my hand, my own ring glittering in the sunlight. They're all about the same size, the same size as my stone. That means they're all about two carats. Oh my God. I look down at the beautiful sparkling pile, my breath catching in my throat, the sun glittering colors off of them. There could be over a million pounds in diamonds here. Oh wow, 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 holy crap. Mark, I call slightly off key, slightly too loud. Mark, 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 Mark. My voice sounds weird. I hear it coming from me, but I don't recognize it. I'm standing now. He runs out of the bathroom, bare chested. My arm goes up and I point at the pile before me. His eyes follow my finger. Watch out for the vomit, I shout. He dodges it and stares at me like I've gone insane. Finally coming out to me in the sunshine, completely confused. What the? Then he sees it. Oh, Jesus Christ, bloody hell. Right, bloody, okay, Christ. He stares at me. I can read his face as clear as day. Jesus.